Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this React.js video tutorial, we will learn that how we can handle HTML form in React.js. So handling a HTML forms simply means how we can get the values from input field, checkboxes, radio button kind of things to uh, React.js, right? So now let's uh, get started with the points. First of all, we will make a HTML form. Then we will add some fields like input field, checkbox kind of things. Then uh, we will define state and get these uh, fields data inside a state and then we will submit and control the form. And at the last, I will ask you a question. You can attempt this question in comment box if you want. And uh, this is my Insta account if you just want to join me on Insta, right? And uh, this is my output screen. And uh, this is my app component, right? So these are my other files, but to just uh, make more space, I'm just going to hide the sidebar right so uh, let's make a form first of all right and let's close it and now let's uh, just start defining some fields and uh, my first field is like a name so it can be type text placeholder like a enter name and uh, after that, we can just simply close it. That's okay. And let's define a selection box now, right? And uh, just add some options. And uh, in options, let's say we are just adding some, anything like uh, comic series kind of things like Marvel, right? And the second one can be uh, like DC dc comics and uh, now you can see that we got the both field in a single line but we just want to show them in a two line so that time we can use a style also but uh, it will take more time that's why i am just going to use here br tags right and uh, we are actually not going to focus on a style in this video that's why uh, br tags are a uh, simple way to just manage these things right and uh yeah after that we can just uh, use two more br if you want and uh, let's just define a checkbox now so let's define type checkbox and uh, let's close it right and uh, we can just simply close it like this and uh, let's define a span also so that we can just show some text in the front of uh, checkbox and just write here agree with terms and condition right some text it can be anything we don't care about it right and again let's add a br tag one more And let's add a button and in this button I can just simply put here a submit text and the type can also be a submit and it can be a button also whatever you want to put it's totally up to you and uh, now you can see that we got some uh, fields kind of things right all right so now first problem is that whenever I'm just going to click on it it will just refresh my page but uh, in a single page application we can't do it right so that's why we have to control it and uh, for that let's just define here our own submit event on submit and in that we can just call any function like uh, handle uh, data or something right and let's define this function here let's make a function like this and uh, here you can just simply put here a event so let's get an event from here event dot prevent default right all right and now if i am just going to submit it now you can see that this is not actually refreshing because it just take a control from the form right 
and all right so now we just want to collect the data from the all of the fields so that we need a three state right so just use here import use state and I'll just simply put here uh, from my bad from react right and uh, let's define the state now my first state name uh, let's take a const distract the use state just put here name and uh, set name right and just use here use state it's like zero and uh, and uh, and 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 uh, again whatever we can do let's take and uh, favorite favorites favorite movie series and come something so just let's select put here interest right and uh, let's set interest and by default it can be blank and name can also be blank and at the last let's uh, just take one more const define a uh, t and c right terms and condition basically right or you can just put here capital t and c this is much better and just put here set t and c and by default um, you state can be false right by default they are uh, should not be agreed right now whatever we need to do let's define here on change event and on change event let's uh, set name here and name will be like uh, event which is emitted from uh, on change event and it will be event dot target dot value right we can just uh, set the three states like this so similar thing we can do on a selection and uh, the similar thing we can also do on a o checkbox also but uh, let's just change the name set interest and uh, here just use here set t and c right and in a TNC because we have a checkbox that's why it don't have value it have always be checked or unchecked right so we can check if this is checked then it value will be true otherwise it will the value will be false right and now let's uh, just use here con cons console dot one and just simply put here all data is like a text and then put here name then we have uh, interest and then we have t and c right and now what we can do we can just uh, add something here like uh, anil from here you can just select here a dc and agree the, with the terms and condition and here you can see that the data all data is anil dc and uh, true so if i'm just going to uncheck it now we get the data false if i just select here marvel then i got a marvel here and i can just change a name also right so this is the way that how we can just collect this data okay so what we can do with this data you can just uh, uh, collect this data from a form and send to the api or you can just modify yourself whatever you want to do right so after one or two videos we will just learn that how we can just submit this data to the api like a proper registration and sign up right so don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video so now it's time to interview question so my question is how you can just disable any field with a state or uh, any button click in a react yes, right so because this is a part of uh, validation in the next video we will learn that how we can put a validation on a form in react js right so stay tuned god bless you please like this video provide your uh, very precious comments and thanks for your time bye bye take care